I've decided I'm going to be bringing back uh, an old series, a concept of a series that I did many years ago that was deleted. And it was where I talked about mental health. Now, there needs to be a few disclaimers here. I am not professional, I am not trained, I am not a psychiatrist, I am not a doctor. These are going to be videos on my take on mental health, possibly my experience, and I guess part of this will be ranting, and I guess part of this will be me hopefully talking about this stuff, and maybe it will help you guys. Um, I don't know, though. Um, I'm hoping it will, um, and I'm hoping that through this series I'm going to be able to go to a place where I can maybe work through some stuff, and uh, yeah, hopefully this will be a good, safe place. Again, a series not intended to trigger, but trigger warnings ahead. So, talking. Um, talking is a bit of an odd one. Uh, I did a video uh, in uh, the playlist where this video will be um, doing listening. And that's another difficult one. I recently uh, asked two people that I wanted to be as open as I could. I asked them to come to my house to talk to them. And I have this weird thing, and maybe I'll do this in its own video, but where I can quite happily, and it won't bother me whatsoever, to go over the highlights, right? To go over the the bad highlights, the trauma, and I'm absolutely fine, right? It's I've done it so many times throughout my life, whether it's to friends, loved ones, uh, professionals, um. And for some reason, that's easy for me. Um, the hard part is then going through the timeline. Now, I basically went through with these two people that I shall not be naming, um, just because it was private, but I think this video will also have use. So I'm not necessarily going to go in to the stuff that we spoke about. But I think it is going to be quite useful for this video. Um, I went from basically my earliest memories to me moving to the place where I am now. A little bit um, over my first few years, I guess, um, of where I am. Um, so... Usually, with a big thing like this, of sitting someone down and explaining something and talking to them, I try to predict, right? I try to predict what things to leave out, I try and predict which things to uh, say in a certain way, or try and put across in a certain way, I try and... Uh, figure out how they're going to react and then I will then I, I will then try to speak about that subject in a certain way because of my prediction and this time I didn't I was still nervous nervous as hell um, but I didn't this time and usually I'd have everything laid out, and I didn't. And that was as much 
as it may seem like a very weird thing or small thing, um, that that I felt very achieved about because I've always done that. Um, good or bad thing, I'm very okay, how can I think ahead and how can I try and predict and then come up with a hundred scenarios that I'm never caught off guard. And that, that alone is attached to my trauma and childhood and past. Um, but uh, the reason why I'm explaining all this is because talking is very difficult if you're trying to get something across right everyday conversation uh easier or maybe easier depending on the individual of you know stuff like uh what do you want for breakfast today what do you want me to make you for breakfast today what are we doing for lunch what are we doing for dinner uh do you want a copper do you want a coffee um, that sort of everyday interaction um, is not the sort of talking that this video is meant for or that I am going into. The type of talking that I'm um, trying to get across in this video is when you sit somebody down and you try and explain something important, right? You have chosen another human being or <clears throat> uh, a set number of human beings and because you believe in them or you trust them or you need to get something off your chest, you decide that's the person I'm going to talk to. That is the person or people that I have decided that I will have this conversation with. Well, and that's amazing. I, I, don't, I don't want to divert from that because that, all, all of that, all on its own, can be such a mountain to climb and can be such a, a walking on a tightrope, right? That can be one of the most scariest things ever. Who do I open up to? Do I tell this person? Do I tell these people? Do I open up to them? Um, so I'm not, I'm not taking away from that part. Um, but then you have to actually do the act, right? Then you have to do the actual talking. And um, I found this recently as I've been evolving on my mental health journey, I guess, um, is that I will say something and maybe it's because of the way I talk or the way I type or the way I come across. And it could be all of that. It could be absolutely all of that. And it's all on me. And I've got to learn a way to talk or communicate better. And there's probably a lot of that in reality. There's probably a hell of a lot of that. But it's how, how do we learn to talk with something personal and important and intimate to ourselves and how do we then say what we need to say but in a way that we hope will get across and then in a way that is not taking away our meaning or the thing that we want to get across and again, you know, with these sort of videos it could be, oh well Neo, you're overcomplicating it and if you've never had this experience in your life, uh, you uh, amazing, and I hope you never have to go through it. But if you have, then you know that, or at least I know personally, 
if I'm explaining something, and I spoke to uh, some, uh, again, I'm trying to be very careful in these videos of names or people, um, but I spoke to somebody the other day, and I was explaining the fact that, you know, I can't get the thing across, and then that aggravates me, and then they'll say, oh, well, you mean this, and I'll be like, no, it's this. And that person explained to me that, well, that's their way of trying to understand. And that's their way of trying to make sure that they can understand what you are trying to get across. Now, I think maybe 70% of the time that's true. But I think there's also part of that where people add their own uh, narrative and their own feelings about it. And then the person I was talking to made a very wise observation and said, well, that's all we can do. We can only pull from our own experiences. And I agree with that. But I guess it's a problem that I need to try and learn to get better on uh, in the coming weeks, months, years. Um, and it is something that I, I just think that I'll never, I'll never quite get a, a full grasp on. Um, and I think the, the listening video, even though I was in a different place, and then this talking video in a very different place, it is that communication. And it is, okay, what's... What's the person talking to me trying to get across? And, you know, this is obviously important. And then treating it as such. And then the person listening being like, okay, I think, and is it this? But also the person talking getting frustrated. And then the person listening getting frustrated. And then it's... Well, there, we'll drop it. And then nothing's dealt with, right? And then the person who's tried to communicate something feels like, oh, well, I'll never do that again. And then the person listening is like, damn it, I, uh, I really wanted to help that person, but I couldn't hear what they were saying or the meanings behind it. So I, I think communication or words or listening or talking is very important um, and not just in those important conversations. I gave examples earlier of, hey, do you want a breakfast or what do you want for breakfast? What do you want for lunch? What do you want for dinner? Do you want a cuppa? Do you want a coffee? You know, we, we so often nowadays, I think we almost a a autopilot i think with stuff like that and we don't necessarily think about what we are saying and i understand why um but i i do think that we don't necessarily think about how it can come across or how it can feel or how it can then be perceived and then the other person a very simple act of do you want a cup of tea which is a very nice gesture um uh, you know amazing somebody wants to make a cup of tea for you um but i i don't think we necessarily think too much about okay how am i you know it uh, how could this come across and could a simple thing like that trigger something or make that person think about my intentions? Um, and, you know, I've spent, I think, from, again, my earliest memories to now of overthinking, trying to overplan, trying to overpredict, trying to make sure I can never get caught uh, with my armor down. And that constantly happens, but it's kind of a loop, a vicious loop that I've found myself in throughout my life. And I do think that 
part of that loop of it ending or just becoming less on repeat for me is communication, listening, talking, um, and spending the time to sit down with ourselves or the person that we're trying to communicate with. Uh, that, that's all I really wanted to say with this video, guys. I may kind of go back uh, to the listening and to the talking, but uh, for now, that's all I really wanted to say. I hope this has been helpful, or maybe again, it's just me rambling and you guys really learning how nuts I am, which is a bit of a scary concept. Uh, Ooh, uh, but, um, yeah, um, but either way, uh, I hope this has maybe helped, uh, you, the person listening, or helped you to understand somebody else, um, so, yeah, keep talking, guys.